Yes, it's true. I chose a Casio over an IWC. You may not believe it, but this happened. Let me explain. First, a quick story. My collection is changing to accommodate smaller watches and actually less watches. I had a real itch for a small sports watch. I did consider the 35mm Tissot PRX, which piqued my interest. But I tried one before and I didn't really warm to it. There was something about the feeling of the, the bracelet and the way it fit. It just didn't feel right. And I, I didn't like it, but I know it's a really good watch. I then hopped online and I found a classic engineer with a white dial. And this particular engineer is not to everyone's taste. A white dial with gold markers, it's a strange combination for a sports watch. But I liked it enough to pull the trigger, well sort of. The watch was available on Chrono24 uh, through a private seller. And um, I gave an offer of 80% of the listed price. I felt that it was a fair offer. Um, given that the watch was bought over a decade ago and any watch that was bought more than four years ago will easily be profitable. However, he rejected it saying it wasn't a serious offer. But anyway, that's fine. Everyone uh, can make their own choices. I actually really wanted the watch and I was tempted to go closer to the asking price. Then I said to myself, no. So what prompted me to say no? Well, recently I made a video about sky high watch pricing and this pricing was an example of that. After turning my back on the watch, I gave up on the idea of a sporty white dial watch. Then I came across this Casio. I was looking for a small sporty watch with a white dial, easy to wear and felt classic. This Casio incredibly satisfies what I was looking for in the engineer. It's incredible. It's also interesting that I remember this particular watch from my childhood. Looking through the Argos catalog and thinking how much of a technical marvel it was as an analog and digital watch. For a child, that was pretty impressive. Today, I could pick one up for 35 pounds. And when I received it, well, after two months, I can't stop wearing it. And actually, I choose it over my Swiss watches all the time. I'm not sure how long that will last, but today, it's my watch of choice and I've even taken it on a holiday. Now the watch isn't practical for a beach holiday. I definitely wouldn't swim with it, but it's enjoyable and I get a buzz from looking at the time. Wearing this watch, I get the feeling I was expecting from wearing the Ingenieur, even though I'm not sure how the Ingenieur would actually wear. But instead of spending over 8K on a watch, I spent 75 pounds. Does this watch have the same heritage or engineering as the IWC? No. Does it have all of the features? No. But it does fit my wrist well. It looks good and it does bring a smile to my face. And yeah, after months of wearing it, I still tell anyone that's around me, hey, look at this watch. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Annoying, I know. 
but it's surprising to find a watch that hits the spot like this. And that's what some of us are looking for. It's not necessarily about a specific brand or specific reference. It's about the feeling you get from wearing a certain watch, the look, how you wear it with your clothes. It's all of those things. I love looking at the time, looking at the design, and I appreciate the size of the watch and how it sits inside my wrist and not overly like a flying saucer or wearing a hockey puck on my wrist. Now, I'm not recommending this watch over an Ingenieur. The Ingenieur is an incredible watch. However, this Casio currently satisfies a watch style that I was looking for. Yes, it's cheap, but it's also enjoyable. But maybe I'm still in the giddy phase, who knows? So what's the takeaway here? This Casio is better than the IWC Ingenieur? No. Instead, I'd like to recommend to all watch collectors, when choosing your next watch, think about the characteristics you're looking for and the design and wearability first. Once you work that out, you won't be held hostage to pricing. And your next watch could be anything, waiting to bring a smile to your face. Thank you for watching.